This tricycle, built and assembled at the Innovation Center of the Federal Polytechnic Ilaru, runs on electricity and solar power with a capacity of about 75 kilometers per hour. This development is part of the clarion call of the federal government to shift attention from premium motor spirit, also known as petrol, to a cleaner and more environmental friendly initiative. Taking the visiting chairman of a governing council of institution and the representative of the National Automotive Design and Development Council round a three-year-old innovation center, the director said about 95% of the raw materials for the tricycle were sourced locally. Every other part, apart from the electric motors, we are designed locally. The other parts, we, well, we know we are sort of machineries, but with the help of the director, we are set up the assembly plant. And I can tell you that even with these uh, years of the project, we have provisions to get more ingredients so that we can have the rector of the Polytechnic, Dr. Mikhail Akonde, who promised the establishment of a center, however, called for more investment in innovation, research, and development to stimulate economic recovery, growth, and development. With support from government or from even part of national life, we will do better because it pains to the marrow when we begin to import a lot of things that we can produce locally. How will, you know, how will we not have pressure on the students when we rely on everything outside the country? So we are also pleading, requesting whatever support, whatever collaboration, we will join hands with you to solve a lot of problems. We can do it. I want to assure you. The initiative is commended, and the call for support from different sectors across the country with a call on the federal government to finish up with raw materials fabrication centers. Based on the assessment of the representative of the Automotive Council, he said he's quite impressed with the way the Polytechnic has transformed virtually all the raw materials at their disposal to produce this machine. My advice, as always, is that we need federal government assistance assistance specifically to this polytechnic so that they can expand the scope of this machine to accommodate, as I've said, two or three people. The school can approach other manufacturers, uh, big players in the industry. They can also assist. But the most important thing is that all of us will continue to pressure the government uh, to finish up so many raw material producing companies that they have started because therein lies the solution to bringing down the cost of vehicles generally. High point of the event include a test ride by the chairman of a governing council of the institution who used a motorcycle to tour the institution.